What is up, everybody on YouTube and stream? We're live here playing Vodigo. We're gonna jump back in. I recently played a, a recording for YouTube. That's not gonna come out for some time, probably, but we unlocked a new character here. So we might give that a whirl. I do believe it's a melee based character, and I suck the most at melee. I also unlocked Mabata, my pet that I can feed. I don't understand why I feed it, probably grows. Um, there's just so many things. There's so, 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 so many things to dump these souls into. Like our pet now, there's 10 to expand the map in that direction. 10 there, 10 there. That's not the same 10. 8 there. We go into this house. We can go unlock new weapons, starter weapons for this new character. 5 there, 5 there, 5 there. There's 8 there. It's, this is insane. How many times do you got to play this? In order to get all of these things. Ten there. Go inside of this house too. There's still things that we have left to unlock. We unlocked a starter weapon for this character, the B shotter, but there's also that's five, that's five. Alright, we're gonna jump in here. Let's try Clozo, the Prince of Imperia. After a failed kidnapping attempt by spies from a rival nation, Clozo, heir to the throne of Imperia, suddenly wakes up in unrecognizable lands. Since that fateful day, he has settled into his new home, but is always looking up, wondering, is there a way back? Clozo's arm. That's all we got. An arm extender from the kingdom of Imperia. Okay, yep. Cloudy slapper. Imperian life can be hard with low visibility from all the thick, lush clouds in your face. The slapper helps with dissolving the most strongest of clouds. It is almost a must for all citizens in the sky. Cloudy Slapper. Oh, blue. And Rogue Difficulty. I now have Intense Difficulty. Gain two more Void Fragments from bosses. You take even more damage. Enemy bullets are even faster. Enemy attacks are even faster. Enemy attacks even more often. Bubble needs even more damage to activate. Bosses change area even more frequently. Less ammo from pickups. Even lower chance to drop health. Let's just try Rogue. Let's just stay there. The Rogue is like the hard mode. Recommend expanding the camp to get new people before you, you get starter weapons for people. Oh, look at the clouds left. Spark her curiosity. Your contagious freedom ignites her rage. My contagious freedom ignites her rage. Tickle, 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 tickle. You see this thing? Look at this cloud slapper. This is great. What's that clown hand doing? It be tickling. I don't like how sensual that hand movement. I'm seeing screen tearing. You guys seeing screen tearing right now? Seems like really bad. Yes, a lot of it. Just started now. Yeah. Back. Oof. Yep. I don't know why. I'm gonna keep going. Gotta be the game. I think it's the full screenness of it all. Did we leave it at full screen? We did leave it at full screen because when I when I do the windowed mode, it's got it's like legit windowed, right? They're not like a full screen windowed mode like every other game has. Is that better? I mean, we could roll with this. It's just kind of silly. It's just silly. To force me to do this. like that. We'll cut some things off, but it looks a little bit better. Here's what it is. Alright, let's start tickling. Sorry, chat. Stop immediately. That's not really worth going to. It's 
not very strong, but at least it has the range. It's already down to 85% durability, too, so I, I, I see how oh, this is not going to be that good. I also changed the aiming mode back to classic, so... Ooh, there we go. Delther. Oh, we just have, like, a permanent arm. Come on, until he stops blocking. Activate the thing. Oh, we don't have the explodey stomps because that's specifically on the uh, the one character. Dude, this is wacky. This is wacky. You can try windowed no border in the Steam launch options also. We should try that after. Do 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 Gazzy, what's up? 15 months. I don't know what I'm doing. Like what this game is? Game is an action roguelike. Try to guide you guys through it. We can hold two weapons. We have to fight uh, bosses every single level. We have to find the boss. We have to unlock the boss's health bar by stomping on these beacons, they're called. Each of the beacons right now will unlock a third of the boss's health bar. You can see that below World 1 Atlantis. Go into this large sticky shell. This is a challenge. Timed challenge, and we get a, a extra health bar. We have fire death challenge for faster reloads. And then we have fire death challenge for the doot doot skeleton gun. And max health, but I'm not sure I'm going to be fast enough. Honestly, might want to tickle him. Go, 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 go. Literally 30 seconds to do this. Twenty seconds left. You gotta kill all the enemies. Got it. We tickled them to death. Burger's arriving soon as well. Crystal impacts. Uh we're not probably gonna be jumping too much since we don't have the super jump move. Soul attack on reload during battle. Can we get our health piece? There's our health piece. Let's not miss that. That's very important. Soul attack on reload during battle. And then beacon activate barrage. I don't like the beacon barrage. I think it's trash. Crystal impact. Probably not going to be jumping too much. And uh, the soul. Let's go soul real hand then. Soul attack on reload. We found some extra uh, durability. It's basically an ammo jar, but when you're holding a melee weapon, it turns into durability jar. Which is nice. The durability on my my lower right, that's that's like I said, my ammo. There's a little thing that just gives us some stuff. Loot Vortex. A new gun! A double revolver. We want that instead of the stealther. I don't know if blue is like more rare than green. And that, that sparkles. We could break it open and we get little crystal shards. We have enough crystal shards. They form full crystals top right. You can see I've got 14 full crystals to buy stuff with. Tim, please point to where the cloud creature tickled you. It seems like that's pretty nice. Oh, you see that cloud uh, charge attack when I was reloading? It seems like maybe it happens only once per room. Seems to be the case here. What the hell was that? What kind of one shot in these guys? Is the boss? What's going on over here? No, the, the geyser was going off. Two thirds of the boss's health bar. There's the boss. Queen. The matriarch. I got shot there. Okay, we can't fully kill the boss just yet. 
So we're gonna attempt to avoid the boss and go find the rest of the the beacons. The beer cans. There's one more beacon. Bam. There we go. Now go the boss. The boss does move between rooms. I'm gonna try to kill me. Person at my front door. That would be a burger, I think. I'm gonna go grab that burger and I'll be right back down. I'm back. Ghost pepper burger locked in. I brought some buffalo sauce too if I really want to get crazy. No borderless here. It's weird. I do want to actually see if I can't uh, take this and move it over just like a little bit. I'm going to split the diff here. Right there. That's the spot. That's the money. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, boss is probably going to show up and attack me here if I take long enough. It'd be smart for me to try to kill everybody first. Okay, he's got me with this melee attack. It still seems pretty useful to jump on people. That's uh, some life. That's some life there from that. Boss is here, yep. Maybe we'll stay over here on this side then. We'll fight the boss. Slap and tickle. Uh, it's it's like fun, right? But it's it's pretty trash. I mean, our, our pistol is kind of trash as well, so. A jump is also a dodge. All right, phase two of the boss. Broke the beacon. Hey, that's a good thing. We got this super good gun. We used this before the rebeamer. Okay, and it ran from me. It's hiding. Happy to have the rebeamer. Too bad that I don't have the ability to tickle through walls. Go for shotguns or melee to make the best use of the hand. Yeah, you're right. Anything that's like super close range. Shotguns and melee sound, like you said, really, really good to this character. don't want that gun, we can go ahead and recycle it as well. We have a gun recycler. Right here. We got ammo and then the invader, which is a laser gun. I think that I might stick with this rebeamer here. It's like a faster laser. It's very short range, but once again, that is good with my character because of the long arm. I like it. I like it. Let me just finish this up and then fight the boss. We can fight the boss now, too. Recycle another weapon if we want to. We totally should. 
Probably use my tickle here on non-bosses. Peculiar Pink Pat, thank you so much for the burger, once again. Very generous and kind of you to do that. I'm very excited to eat it. I just had, I, I got a balance pumping out the content and uh, eating the food. That jump dodge, though. The attacks are, are so much faster in the second phase. I really like the speed upgrade. You can find that. me again, didn't it? Get rid of these ants. My pants. We have 28 crystals to spend. For the shop, too, if we really wanted to. We tickle it to death. Imagine trying to use this tickle thing without the long arm. Okay. Cloud slapper. Does the boss regain health when it runs away? No, I don't think it does. Those weird looking like demon things that came out, that's actually what I'm collecting top right to bring back and, and buy the permanent upgrades. Fuels my anti-voidness. Laser on block, we're not blocking too much. We gotta remember that we can actually press the block button. Faster sprint speed. It's only when we're sprinting. It might be worth it, but what's the last thing? Grenade on reload. We could just go reload, 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 and then get like something that only has like one in the in the clip. I kinda like that idea. We need to find something that'll work with it, but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this laser. All this health that we don't have anything to do with. Recycle the slaps! Got some ammo. It's fine. Flame. But I haven't had uh I've been having a lot of fun with this game. Maybe there's a really good gun for sale in the shop. Could be. Which is the gun that we dropped up here? I don't remember. Is the gun that we dropped? Can you tell me where it is? Down here. Oh, that's right. The stealther. What's in the clip? There's only four bullets in the stealther clip. Probably should go with it. Probably should go with it since we have on reload effects. Get the shop out. So you can see the pluses are passive items. The gun that symbol is a gun. People dodging spikes. Something like if I jump up in the air, that's technically a dodge. It, the spike comes up. Bone boot. Bone boot attack on stomp. Fire bullets. Incendiary rounds. That sounds pretty cool. Coldoid piercer. A beacon powered machine gun turret. So when I activate the beacon, it, it puts a machine gun turret down, but it's very low range. Nordon Ballista. That sounds like it's got not a whole lot of ammo in the clip. Aggressor and then Beacon Barrage that I said that I didn't like earlier. I'm going to try this Nordon Ballista. This game makes my pee pee pop. Good. Yeah, two. Two in the, in the clip. Uh, sacrifice my Cloudy Slapper for five shards. You know what? Fine. Do it. I'll take those with me, and then I got uh, these two weapons, and I'm, I'm happy. 
like I said, the Cloudy Slapper was funny, but pretty unnecessary. And there's one spot that we didn't uh, explore. Let's see what's up. Do it all. It's the Feedy guy. Whoa, the Ballista. That is one heckin' Ballista. That was dope. Oh, this guy will take five at a time. We can see if we can get him to pay out. Probably pretty worth it. That's one. That's two. That's three. Took three. So 15 we paid for this. Chance of dropping coffee. I don't know what coffee does, but it probably just makes me move faster. It's a nice passive, which I'm excited about. And then we have an upgrade here. We have Clozo's arm 60% longer. 20% faster respawn for the soul rehand. That's when I reload and it goes like phew, big laser blast. Porky and rebel grenade. I'm going to go close those arm. How much longer are we going to? Ooh. Okay. All right. Onwards. Uh, let's take a look at this burger. Hamburguesa. Got hamburger and some delicious fries. Flies? Oh, that's right. They already are blue cheese fries. Buffalo fries, I mean. It's delicious. I'm so excited. Came with its own buffalo sauce. So good. What state do you live in? I'm in Minnesota. So good, greasy though. All right, another one of these. I don't have too much um, on me, so I don't think that'd be a smart idea to do that. Max health for two random upgrades. Uh, trade my silencer for the melee weapon shock enemy. Let's do it. I'm more excited about my ballista, anyways. So then this upgrade will cause my melee to shock enemies, and I don't... I think shock was... It, like, froze them in place, or did it deal damage? I don't remember. Charged pepper. Dope. Send it. I'm excited about this build. Aggressive herbs. Destructive herds. Protective birds. Okay. Sure, sure. I think if I hit this guy when he's rolling his dung, I might get something for it. Gotta wait for him to finish his roll, though. Are you done rolling your turds? The dung beetle? I feel like I've hit a dung beetle before and I got something really good. If you played Loot River, you should check it out. Love your mustache. Like when he was rolling around like that. Yeah, see, now he got a little thing around him. I've not played Loot River, but I have seen it. It's on my wish list. It looks great. Oh, I had a bunch of stuff pop up underneath me. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. And grenades and stuff. And all kinds of crazy over here. <clears throat> Yeesh. I 
watch out, some of the mushrooms are fake. And they're people. We gotta get four uh, beacons now, I think. Shredded. I shredded that guy. Shredded lettuce. Trade my grenade on reload for max health. I'm gonna do that. As much as I like that idea, max health is just, it, I think it trumps all in this game. Ballista's basically one-shotting everybody. I'm happy about that. Similar to Nuclear Throne, yeah. That's what I would say, too. I agree. If I can fill five of these things with the health, so instead of me getting health, I save the souls in these little cribs, and I can deliver them back, and I think that she gives me, like, max health for it. We can wait to the very end, though. If we've got, like, two or three left over, we can just put them in there and, and accept that challenge. Remember you saying you played Overwatch in your spare time? What are your thoughts on the beta? You know, I'm I'm in the beta, but I haven't tried the beta. Faster respawn for the soul hand. Sword stir. We can go melee. I think we're gonna probably get enough weapons just flying around as it is. Ricochet laser button. Dodge bikes. Floating crystals. Fast hunter. Higher uh, chance for coffee to drop. And then the Imperiant mace is like uh, another melee. Mist is saying it wants my soul rehand for 20 shards. <sighs> the soul rehand, I don't think it's been like that good. I don't think it's been that good. There goes up my on reload. Both of them. My on reload effect. Our coffee chance. You guys want me to do the, the weapon sword stir? Fine, let's do it. Hey, look, it's a sword with a sword. What am I looking at right now? Just hit him himself in the face with his own sword. The block, this is the block. This is so trippy. It seems really good. Remember we have shocks. Melee shocks. I got hit there, though. Flowers, I think, are the hardest enemy in the game. Boss. Not ready for the boss. Not ready for the boss yet. Oh my god, I'm getting bombed, dude. Boss is bombing me. I'm down two heart pieces already. Alright, we got all the enemies. I'm just gonna leave. I'm out of here. Buy some health. So much money. I could have saved it to try to give it to the lady for the stuff. Yeah. 
This is like freezing. It shoots freezing stuff. Which is pretty dope. Boss found me. Akino. I remember I've got a block too in the melee. I'm at zero percent durability right now. My melee. Not what I want to see, but we just unlocked the boss. The health bars. Here, I'm gonna fight it. Better drop some flipping Whoa. ammo soon. Thank you. Ice seems pretty good for the boss. Slowing it down, that is. Honestly, I kind of miss the grenade on reload right now. Not gonna lie. It ran away from me. So let's just pop into here and see what's up with this. We have Voidling Challenge. And a do not dodge challenge. I don't know. That looks like an anvil. I would guess that that allows me to upgrade something. I don't know what the other one is. If I'm being honest. I don't know what this is. Nor do I know what a voidling challenge is. We don't have like any weapon juice. Do not dodge challenge, go. Got another melee weapon here, home run. Holy cow. Oh, I dodged! I totally dodged. I panicked. And the jump is a dodge. Those, those bullets went way farther than I thought they would. It hit me. It actually took all of my health away. It took 100% of my health away for failing the challenge. Okay. So it's like a get good or get the frick out of my house. Got it. So next run then. Snake bullets or shop discount. If we're gonna go melee. Maybe snake bullets isn't the answer. Super shop then. We're also not doing the crib challenge. No way. And the sword stir isn't going to go away. When we exit this, it'll just pop out. Bro, I can't believe. I can't believe it didn't. It not only didn't give me the prize, but it took my health away. Like, that is insane. Find everything in here. More health. Okay, there's lots of health drops at least. If we had not lost 100% of our health, we probably could have gotten the crib thing done right now. Absolute shame.
think we'll home run the boss. Yeah, home run seems to be doing wonders here. The boss health bar. That was really good. Hit this guy, he keeps flying away and shit. Damn. Fry break. Really need a fork for these fries. Because of the sheer amount of blue cheese on them. It's like, I can't hit him when he's up in the air. Discount two faster regrowth of charged pepper for the shocks or 120% longer arm maximum. That's max level, baby. Look at that arm. Looks like we get a whole nother upgrade just because we got max level on something. He can fire lasers. Poison Sprint during combat, and Spirit Assist on kill. We did the Spirit Assist. I'm not sure I totally understood what it did. It's a noxious icon, Poison Sprint. During combat. So when I'm sprinting around and dodging the boss, hopefully that'll make a big difference. Hey. You know, call me crazy. But I'm going to do this. Fetch quest. I have 68 monies. What do I want to buy right now? 68 money. 68? Higher coffee, I guess. I'm just itching to get rid of this money. Don't really need any of the other stuff. Max health for 20 shards. Yeah. Nah. So we did this. I'm going to grab this health here. So again, it goes into the crib. And then I want to go over. There was one more thing. I think it's actually in here still. This guy. Buy that. Buy that health. So hopefully I'll be worth it when I get three more health chunks. I'm going to um, get more max health. All right. I mean, fly. Max health for upgrades. Trade my shop discount for max health. Yeah. We need it. Bosses do so much damage. And then feed this guy with the remaining stuff that we have. That's 10. Off to 10. There's some health. And then the, the trap dodger. Dodging spikes. Yeah, 
spikes come up when I jump. Go, 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 yep, yep, yep. Makes sense to me. I can honestly, I could give some max health for some upgrades right now, but... You know what? Let's do it. It's unfilled. And we're not going to be able to fill it for a long time because of the, the babies that we got with us. Spirit Bombard, we didn't want that one. And then, uh... <laughs> Crystal impacts, we didn't want that one either. Cool. Very nice. Can you upgrade the cribs to cost less for a max health upgrade? Upgrade the cribs? This isn't an item that we have. It's just like a side quest. place is all out of cocoa. All out of gum. The home run's been great, though. You like cocoa? Sometimes you just gotta dodge the bullets first. Sometimes you just got a home run first. Casey. What are these random things? Oh, that's the... I think that's the noxious sprint. The things that are breaking behind me and then spreading little clouds of stuff. I'm assuming I can't hurt myself on them. That got me in there a little hot. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but I think we're doing well. Boss. No! It's the horse. Bump it up, bump it up, bump, 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 bump. Run away. Run away from the horse. The horse got me last time. I have not defeated the horse. Oh, those are enemies. Now for the tractor exploding. Tried to find me. What's up with these ridiculous starts here? Horse here. Get out, get out. All right, mini room. It can't follow us into a mini room here. Running low, little low on uh, bat juice here. All right, switch over to my Norden Ballista. Just gotta pay out again. Three, it's been paying out. Fairly quickly, oh god, things are blowing up. Two upgrades and a tennis racket. Does that count as melee? Probably not. No. Otherwise, it would have a percentage in the lower right. Max level coffee? Let me go max level coffee here. Once again, I don't even know what coffee is or when, when it's been dropping or what it's been doing. 
but it's max level. So it gave me a whole nother extra thing. Shop discount, can get that back. Bullet ring on reload. And then helpful royal pumps. I'll pump it up. It's a follower. It's a glorious follower. Ice stomp. We haven't been stomping too much. I just saw the spikes coming up from my follower jumping. So maybe my follower actually gets jumping, stomping bonuses. Maybe it stomps enemies for me. Rat bullets are more companion health. I'll beef up this. Beef them up. Uh, the health of the, the pumpkin stomps is upper left. Underneath my health, you can see it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a jumping synergy companion. Pump me, dad. How many things we need to get? Two more beacons. One more beacon. Yeah, it's definitely trying to... St oh, God, the thing behind me. I didn't even see that. You know, until I saw it and dodged it. <laughs> It's almost dead, my follower. Which is a shame. I haven't buffed it. I think all these enemies are just doing some death rattles, right? Haunts is here, gotta go. Ooh, that was close. You're telling me Pump Buddy can die? Yes. It's almost dead already. <laughs> Cruel world, you know? I think my arm is almost too long. Is that possible? Horse here. Oh, I'm fire. I'm on fire. Horse. Oh god, it's shooting these like lasers out of the ground, bro. Get him, dude. No. I like my dude's able to heal himself, though. Holy... Cannolis! Left. Okay. Uh, I could just go ahead and buy this health and then send the, the... the cribs home. Get some max health. I think we'll probably be able to find some health before without having to buy it. That's my guess. My shop. Hello. Giant insect debris. Total bat power. Crazy bat lady. Uh, weapon XXL. Shotgunner. Level two spirit bomber. Rat bullet lotion. Poison bullets and level two charge pepper. Let's go level two charge pepper. Dante charge pepper. Send it. Everything else, uh, I'm, I'm mostly using melee, so everything else is kind of like, hmm. I don't know what bat power is, but I do know bat bullets make some bullets into bats. So I got the racket weapon and a recycler if you need durability. True. Excellent run so far. Go directly for the boss? Why not? Let's do it. 
Pump Buddy is annoying the shopkeeper. What are you gonna do though? Pump Buddy. You're gonna not have Pump Buddy? Bro. And we got that health. Level 2 jumpy jumps. 25% kick rate and 25% more max health. Or 50% more max health from health buff pals. Pump can go. That's for you. Enjoy it. There's a loot. Uh, vortex down here that we left behind. It's got skeleton musician. Look at this. Instead of the Northern Ballista, yep. Skeleton music. I, I have to. Are there secrets in this game, Huts? You know, I don't know. Like secret rooms? I honestly don't know. So if I just go ahead and take the tennis racket, we could recycle the tennis racket right now. Oh shit. I forgot that we still have to do some rooms. Oh, well, give us a chance to try out the tennis racket, I guess. Oh gosh, the thing's shooting below me. Pump King, just got him. All by your lonesome. There's a Norden Fort here too we should do. I think we went quickly through some of these rooms because we were being chased by the horse, the haunts. Let's not do that. Let's let's wait for, on that one. I'm gonna go over here. Pump King, more like Pump God. All right, we got the max health. And then the super reload full health uh, thing that I don't need to use just yet. And then we were going to go recycle the tennis racket. Oh, uh, we got the wainer dog. It's Sten dog. Okay. Extendo arm, extendo dog. Tell me it's melee. It's melee. Chat. It's melee. Super stealther. We had the stealther before. What's the super stealther? A lot more in the clip. Um, we also have the pap pap. Oh, that's kind of cool. Obviously, extendo dog is going to be the winner here. Yo. What have we not done? Have we killed everybody? Some of these zones I think we did go through, but there's a lot of things we didn't grab. My Pompey boy just keeps murdering everything. Or I get to see him. I feel like I'm gonna like the bat a little bit more than the extend dog. Home run was pretty pog. Home run did a ton of damage. I just, I don't know how much damage the dog is going to do. Also, it is kind of funny to just go for things for the memes. Take both. Melee on melee. Go into that. Fort. A challenge here. We have a challenge for that looks like a weapon. That looks like another weapon, but it's a cat bat traffic light challenge. I don't know what that means. If I fail it, I'm gonna die. I failed. I failed it already. Did, was there a thing I was supposed to see? Oh, it's like a... Okay, there's a little thing following me around. I physically have to stop. And then... Okay. Well, it doesn't matter since I failed it. it. Seems like the dog's doing a heckin' load of damage. 
It's also breaking through walls. I think home run's still better. Yep, there goes all my health. I had that thing that heals me to full, though, so, like, that's a, a positive. A prick stick! Is that better than Extendo Dog? Extendo Dog might be happier without me. And our upgrade for just beating it. Bat attack on reload. Poison stomp and hold for applause. Slide studio audience. Who's that? Another follower, okay. That seems good. Red light, green light. I just didn't see the red light, green light. There's so much going on. I didn't even know it was there until we are already failed. Let's go heal up. Jump on the follower. Oh, people come out. And explode? All right. That's full HP. And what else do we need to do? Not a whole lot. Was there anything that we wanted to buy in the shop? I think we got everything. We go back for home run if we really wanted to. You guys think that's going to be even better than the skeleton musician, though? I think that it looks like it's going to just pump out the damage on bosses. I don't know. Oh, no. I think the Jump King is actually jumping on this guy. It totally is. It's totally spawning the, the dudes. Get the bat before you go. Yeah, I guess we could buy the bat. The, the, the bat thing in the shop, you mean? All right, melee build. Yellow boy doesn't even do it. Like, um, where was it? Not poison rounds, not rat bullets. Total bat power. And the shopkeeper is mad. I don't know what he was all doing. Oh, it's a follower. Crazy bat lady. Okay. Follower build. Fine by me, besides the fact that, uh, once again, when there's too much going on, on the screen, I don't know what I'm supposed to dodge, what I'm looking at. There's a skeleton that does, in fact, do too. Because I haven't even touched this burger yet. I've only been eating the fries. What not game? I like it. Give up my coffee for max health. Hmm. Stoppable frog buttons appear if I give up my pump king? No way. In your dreams, dude. I don't know what the coffee does. You kept the stick over an extending dog. Yeah, the dog didn't seem that good. I'm being honest. It, like, seemed okay because it was killing some enemies and then I, killed, I punched a couple more and it was like... Yeah. I just, I wish I knew what the coffee did. I'm leaving. End game. We're here in the void. How many things are labeled void? Why is that? <clears throat> I don't even know what just happened down there, but I think we won. I looked up what coffee did, didn't find anything. It 
There's a cursed loot vortex. That out maybe later. Oh, super boss. Void puppeteer. I can't leave. I can't leave. I can't leave. I can't leave. Ooh. Oh. Got a blast. Oh, my mama. Holy jeebers. Found me. We gotta fight the horse again. One more and then we can do it. We've already taken a quarter of its health off by what? Doing nothing? Letting our followers take a, a shot at it? There we go. That's the last one. Oh, I got hit. I got hit by something. Oh god, you have like negative time to react to half the shit. Oh my god. What a, what the frick am I looking at? Gotta leave. I gotta go. Got him. Mostly my followers. Damn. That's crazy. Loop back. We have looping. Or continue on and just finish the run. I don't really think there's like a reason to, to keep going around. I don't think we're going to get any more permanent upgrade stuff. So I think we just call it. Um, as much as I'd like to try the looping feature, I think we should end it right now so I can eat my burger quick. Not bad. I won! On Rogue Difficulty. I don't know what the 90 out of 120, I think maybe that's just like... It's just like third level, like 30, 60, 90 out of 120 difficulty. I don't know. Probably sh shoulda, coulda, woulda looped. Maybe I would've gotten a lot more stuff because of the fact that we had a, like a really strong build, but... Burger. It's burger time. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one.